The comics could be the real future of Power Rangers, but what part of the comics? There is a big difference between the comics and the reboot of the franchise. For now, we know that in the reboot they are going to create a new universe with new characters that are not going to have any connection to the universe we have known for these 30 years and in the comics the characters are the same ones we have always seen. The difference between the comics with the TV series is that the stories are different and even though they started with the same story of the Green Ranger, little by little they have detached themselves from the whole story we have known on TV. Because the comics are written for a more adult audience, they have modified the stories to have a darker universe and to achieve this they have not had to change the characters. So, the question we must ask ourselves is, can we make a darker universe with the same characters in a TV series? This is a very difficult question because even though fans want to keep seeing the same characters they already know, the reality is that because Power Rangers has always been for children, it is very difficult to change these characters for an adult audience. That is why in the reboot they are going to create a new universe since it is better to create something totally separate from the universe we already know. Perhaps it is difficult to understand because sometimes we think that Power Rangers is for adults, but the reality is that this is not so. In order to understand this, change you have to imagine that they make a reboot of the children's show Barney the Dinosaur and in the reboot they turn that same character into a monster like Godzilla. This is the same thing that would happen if the Power Rangers characters we have seen all our lives were changed for an adult audience instead of creating new characters. Despite this, the comics have something awesome to offer and that is that we have been able to see that adults are liking the stories they have. Although we are talking about adults, there are also teenagers who read these comics and they have also accepted very well all this dark style. Power Rangers has been created for children between the ages of 3 to 6 years old, a very young audience and that is why even teenagers are looking for something more serious. I don't know how the official statistics of the franchise are, but what we can see on the internet, conventions, conversations with other fans, and the changes in the world in general, we can realize that most of the fans are from teenagers to adults. It is for this reason that the comics have managed to succeed so much and even though there are still many fans who have not read these stories, I have not seen many people saying they don't like these comics. Why are these stories so successful? In the comics we have been able to see everything a fantasy universe needs to be spectacular, including multiverses, dark villains, time travel, supernatural beings, epic wars, and moments of real danger for the heroes. On top of this, the comics have managed to create characters so awesome that they have transcended and become part of the franchise as if they had existed in the TV series. In this list we can include Lord Draken, who has become one of the best Power Rangers villains and we must also include the Omega Rangers, which, despite being characters already known in the TV series, are a new team with a new power. These characters have become so important that Hasbro has had to create action figures, helmets, and many new products for them. If you haven't read the comics, then you must be wondering who are these characters and why they are so important. Basically, these characters answer questions that were left on the table when we were watching the Mighty Morphin series, and the writers of the comics took advantage of these empty spaces to be able to create new stories that ultimately tied them into the main story. The Omega Rangers, for example, answers the question of what happened to Jason, Zack, and Trini when they left the team. In the TV series they said they were leaving for a peace conference, but in the comics, they showed that they were going to space to create a new team with a new power and would now be the Omega Rangers. In the case of Lord Draken, this character is the evil version of Tommy Oliver and in the TV series Jason managed to break Rita's spell over Tommy in a very easy way. Then Tommy joined the team, and everything continued normally. 
In the comics they answered the question of what Tommy would have done if he didn't join the Power Rangers despite Jason breaking the spell and presented Tommy joining Rita Repulsa. Such interesting stories are what have captivated fans who have read the comics, and it is precisely this path that they should follow in the reboot. They may not be able to use the same characters that we have seen for 30 years, but they can continue with the same style that these comics have. A dark style with epic stories and very powerful villains that manage to cause problems even to the gods. If you want to read the comics you can get them on Amazon or any comic bookstore near you, although we know they are not everywhere. In this channel we present a summary of each episode and although we know that it is better to read them in full, sometimes it is good to be able to listen to the story narrated along with a brief explanation of what may be happening in the story. We know that there are already many fans of this channel who have seen all these videos about the comics, but we also know that because there are so many videos, some of you are a little lost in the story. This is the timeline of the comics and for now there are 13 main sagas. There are many comics outside of these sagas, but these are the main sagas that have the same continuation in the story. For now, on this channel we have read some of these comics, but because we didn't start in the right order, there is a little bit of confusion with this. At first, we started with the Shattered Grid, and this was the first story we had on the channel. Then we started reading the stories that were being published at the time so we could read the most recent comics. After that we decided to start reading all the comics from the beginning to be able to connect all the stories and that's why right now, we read the most recent comics, but also old comics. For now, these are the comics we have read on the channel and some sagas we are currently reading. As you can notice we have already read the last three sagas since they are the comics we started reading when they were published. Among the old comics we have from the Green Ranger Saga to the Shattered Grid Saga. In this case the situation is that we started reading from the Green Ranger Saga and for now we are starting to read the Promethea Saga, but because we already had the Shattered Grid in the channel, we really go this way. This means that we still need to finish the Promethea Saga to connect it with the Shattered Grid and then read the other 5 sagas that follow to connect them with Charge to 100 to have all the sagas connected. I invite you all to read these comics so you can see that the future of Power Rangers can be in the style of these stories, and you will realize that the reboot should be this way to have almost assured success. Write in the comments your favorite comic book saga, like this video and subscribe for more Power Rangers comics.